This is the Zoll AED Plus. A couple of the features here, it comes with a rugged exterior case. In order to uh, use the AED, what we're gonna wanna do is unzip this case, and then we turn on the unit by pressing this on button, and then we pop the unit open right here. So when we pop that unit open, as you can see, it's also helpful that this tag sticks out, giving us the expiration date of the pads inside. We have a compartment on the back for any spare pads or pediatric pads. And when we pop this unit open, we're gonna go ahead and turn it on and pop the unit open. And we can see the readiness indicator there is showing us that we're in a good status. When we open it up, we have the adult pads ready to go, pre-connected. The device is going to go through a quick self-test, letting us know it's ready to go. And we're gonna tear these pads open and place them onto the patient. As you can see here, it kind of walks you through the steps um, of the response from checking for responsiveness, calling 911 and getting help on the way, placing the pads onto the victim, and then standing clear while it analyzes and shocks, and then getting right onto CPR. Um, and of course, here's the shock button. Uh, this particular model is a semi-automatic model or semi-automated AED, meaning that it's going to tell us when it's time to initiate a shock and it will initiate the shock button at that time. So, but we have to actually press the shock button to uh, initiate that shock. And with all AEDs, if we press the shock button at the wrong time, we have no risk of accidentally shocking the patient because this button is only activated when the AED is sensed a shockable rhythm and activates that shock button. But being that it's automated, we do have to press that button in order to deliver the shock. Other than that, Zoll is known for its uh, real feedback CPR technology, meaning that once the pads are placed, there's that hockey puck, we call it in the middle of the chest, which actually measures the depth of our compressions and our rate helping us be in that perfect sweet spot of 100 to 120 compressions per minute, going two to 2.4 inches in depth with each compression.